All right, the Paris Masters, the final event of the season for a lot of players is on. It's an ATP 1000 event, huge event, and it's got all the big names. The first time since the French Open, we've really seen a lot of these names all at the same time in the same event, but we have some withdrawals. Big names not playing in this one, so let's go to the withdrawal list. So the withdrawal list is as followed. We have Jensen Brooksby, he's pulled out. Kyrgios also pulled out. Monfils, Opelka, and Alexander Zverev have all pulled out of this one. Of course, Zverev still battling with that foot injury. We don't know when we're gonna see him again, but uh, he made the uh, semifinals last year here, so he loses a lot of points for that. But let's go to the top of the draw, because it is stacked. Okay, you can see we've got Alcaraz at the top of the draw. The top eight seeds get a buy in the first round. 16 seeds in this one, so it's a big, big event. you got Alcaraz, he gets a buy in the first round. Winner of that, win well, he will play the winner of Karatu versus Nishioka in the second round, so a good start there for Alcaraz. And then you've got Van der Zanschuk taking on Dimitrov. Winner will take on either a qualifier or the number 13 seed Berrettini in the second round. So Berrettini versus Alcaraz could be a third round. Then you've got Hercatch, number 10 seed, taking on Manorino. Winner of that match takes on either Runa or Vavrinka, which could be a match we see in Basel this week. So that's interesting there. And Hercatch having to play the winner. Then you've got Isner taking on a qualifier. Winner of that plays number 7 seed Rublev, who gets a bye in the first round. So that quarter of the draw... Uh, you could get Hercatch versus Rublev in the third round, and then Rublev versus Alcaraz in the quarterfinals. And remember, Alcaraz is qualified for the ATP finals. Uh, Berrettini's got to do a lot. He's got to win Paris to get there. Hercatch and Rublev are in the hunt, though. So that could be a very interesting match in the third round. If they play, the loser ends their season. That could be a very big match. Now, let's go to the next part of the draw, which is the Medvedev section. So, there we go. Okay, so you've got Medvedev, the number four seed, buying the first round. He'll take on the winner of quarter, taking on Diminor, which is a really fun first round between a couple of young players. Winner gets to play Medi. Then you've got Rinanish taking on Draper. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or the number 16 seed, Tiafo in the second round. Then you've got Fritz, the number nine seed, taking on Fakina. Winner of that match takes on either Murray or Jill Simon, who's playing his last ever event. Uh, he got a wild card, so it was uh, good to see him playing. He gets to play Murray, a guy that I'm sure he's played a few times over his career. Then you got Bublik taking on a qualifier. Winner of that takes on the number eight seed and one of the best form players right now, Felix Ogiel-Yassim. Uh, so FAA versus Fritz. Now, both of them are in contention for the ATP Finals too. So that could be another elimination match like I mentioned before. Medvedev, Tiafo third round that could be fun uh and also faa versus medvedev quarterfinal if we want to go out that way and uh the winner of this section will obviously play the alcaraz section so medvedev alcaraz could be a semi-final or uh any of the other names i've mentioned over the last little bit okay let's go to the next section of the draw which is the djokovic section or the rude section if you're based on ranking novak djokovic he gets a buy in the first round the number six seed he will take on either schwartzman or cressy in the second round uh, then you've got Baez taking on Hashinov. Winner of that takes on either a qualifier or Yannick Sinner, the number 11 seed. So Sinner versus Djokovic, third round. That'll be on Thursday. Or maybe it might even be on uh, Wednesday, depending on how the schedule plays. Then you've got Chilich taking on Musetti, number 15 seed Chilich. Musetti's been okay the last couple of weeks. Um, won a title, I think, last week or the week before. Uh, the winner of that will take on either Basilej Vili or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Molchan taking on Gasquet. Winner of that takes on Kasper Ruud, the third seed. So uh, Djokovic versus Ruud, if you're going by the seeds, will be a quarterfinal. But look, I've got to be honest, uh, Ruud would be very, it would be very good of Ruud to get to the third round. I'm uh, sorry, quarterfinals. But, you know, Musetti, Chilich, Gasquet, they could all be tough, especially Gasquet in France. Never fun. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. But most I'm most excited for Sinner Djokovic third round. I think we all are, right? They played five sets at the uh, at Wimbledon. And the bottom corner of the draw, we've got Stefano Pass, number five seed, buying the first round. He'll take on either Evans or Nakashima in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Chorich. Winner of that match takes on either Kecmenovic or Nori, the 12th seed, in the second round. So straight away, Nori versus Pass stands out, but Chorich Pass is the match that I think we'll get, and I hope we get. They play epics every time. Then you've got Krinja Busta taking on Ramos Vinoles. Krinja Busta just lost to Alcaraz today, number 14 seed. Winner of that match takes on either Shapovalov or Serendolo. And Shapo's in good form this week too. So interested to see how that plays out. Then you've got, Karin and then you've got Batista Agu taking on Paul. Winner of that match takes on the number two seed, Rafa Nadal. We haven't seen since the US Open in singles. So he hasn't played for a while, Rafa. Trying to get some form. It's the first time we're getting to see Dadal. Is that what we're calling him? Dadal, Papa Rafa. Uh, so that's going to be fun. Interested to see how he plays. And also, you can see there, possibly playing Pass 
in the quarterfinals if the seeds play out. And of course, this section of the draw will play against the Rude slash Djokovic section. So we could get a GOAT battle in the semis. Djokovic Nadal semi-final, Sidzi Pass Rude semi-final, or any of those combinations, or any of the other names I mentioned. Let me know down in the comments below if you're watching this later, or in the chat, if you're watching this live, who's going to win this tournament. I'm going Djokovic because he's the defending champion. He's won this six times, and I can't not pick him. He's the freshest player right now. He's the only guy who hasn't played that much. Maybe besides Medvedev, but... I'm going to go with Djokovic to win just because he's, he's Djokovic. But you tell me, who do you think is going to win this tournament? 